Does being blind in one eye affect my depth perception? Well, yes, but I only know that because people tell me that. Hey, quick neuro fact. Although we usually think of binocular vision as what lets us see depth, it's actually only one of a whole bunch of ways that our brains determine how far away things are. For example, we're all familiar with perspective, which isn't part of binocular vision at all. It's how optical illusions like this one work. See, where these two people are actually the same size, roughly, but appear different due to the room's perspective being intentionally different from what we normally expect. And that's also related to our expectations over time and experience. But it doesn't end there. We also use things like parallax, which is the fancy word for how things at different distances appear to move at different speeds when we move our eyeballs. So that when I move the camera like this, you can see that the microphone moves at a different speed than my hand, which moves at a different speed than my head, which moves at a different speed than stuff in the background. And our brain uses that to infer different distances of those things. And there's a bunch of other movement-related ways that our brain judges distance too. So, for example, uh, how an object gets bigger as it approaches, or how shadows actually move when an object moves at different rates under steady light. And our brains are also really smart about using more subtle cues. So, for example, how objects that are further away tend to have lower contrast and lower color saturation, as well as a bluer tint, because of how the atmosphere scatters light. Artists actually use this phenomenon to create additional depth in paintings. Uh, there's even way more than that, because our brains are really cool, but I hope you found this intro at least a little bit uh, eye-opening. I'll show myself out.